Hey, welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is Friday, August the 27th, 2021. Before we get started here, a couple of big shout outs to those people who watched the video yesterday. Thank you so much for those views. Also, you know, uh, <clears throat> don't forget to click that subscribe button. <clears throat> Excuse me if you haven't subscribed already. Very important also for YouTube. Click the like button. Also, finally, don't forget to click the share button. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter. This way you can also copy and paste the link into an email or text message and share it with your friends and family that way. Now, before we get started, <clears throat> i got a very sobering question to ask. <clears throat> Suppose COVID-19 never goes away. Suppose the cases never stop and the deaths never stop. At what point does America... As the old saying goes, you know, lace up our boots and get on with life. I hate to say it's going to be the new norm, but suppose it is the new norm. Are we, are we going to go through an endless round of, of, of vaccination and booster for every variant that comes out? And this one note about, about the current vaccines in, in the U.S. I'm sure you all realize that the, the, there's, there's two things that vaccines won't do. They won't keep you from getting COVID-19, and they may not keep you from dying from COVID-19. It may reduce the symptoms, and it may reduce the chances that you'll die, but there's no guarantee that you won't get COVID-19 and you uh, and you won't die. So at what point, again, does America get on with life? At what point do we open the country back up? You know, end, we need to, you know, at what point do we end the cycle of shutdown and reopening, shutdown and reopening? Just and just leave it, open everything back up, and just get on with life, and uh, and uh, as it is. Okay, let's go and take a look here. The other thing that's curious about COVID nineteen tracking in U.S. is, is we track if we, we track cases from the first case back in January twenty twenty, and we can and, and we can count the we count from the first death, which was back in February twenty twenty, up until today. Now the thing that's curious about that that's not the way we track heart disease and cancer. Those, those diseases are, can, are, 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 um, are counted one year at a time. So every, every January 1st, uh, <clears throat> cancer and heart disease deaths are reset to zero. But yet, with, with COVID-19, we track the case and deaths from the, from the very first case and the very first deaths. Kind of interesting, huh? Okay. So this number here is, is the total number of uh, cases since January 2020. It's up to 38 million do people right now, okay? 632,000 deaths since February 2020. This here is our. Um, this here is the. Um, this, this is the. This is 2021 uh, cases. A long declining pattern. I want you to notice them here. Sometime, sometime in July, cases and deaths started to increase, not only in the U.S. but also in Israel and Sweden and probably any other country in the world. It might be interesting to take a look at that. You know? Okay, here's deaths. We have a long declining plan in, uh, pattern in deaths. And again, in mid-July, deaths started to increase again. And so this is the total number of COVID-19 cases for 2020 versus 2019 versus 2021. So with four months ago, there's a pretty good chance that the 2020 COVID-19 cases will actually pass to 2020. Okay, unfortunately, that's sad, but it's true. And there's a well, this is eight months with four months to go. It's going to be very close, very close to the 2021 COVID 19 deaths that catch in 2020. Of course, this is going to be despite this, this is despite 12 months of 12 months of evacuate, 12 months of a, a vaccinations. Okay. 2020 again, increasing 2021. Began with a long declining pattern from January down to July, and in July again the cases started to increase again. <clears throat> deaths, an increasing pattern, an upward trend in deaths in 2020, a downward trend to July <clears throat> in 2021, and again deaths increasing in July. Let's just take a look at the average number of cases. So for the for the seven day period ending August the nineteenth, you're averaging what one hundred and forty six thousand plus cases per day on average. What about deaths? 
Well, for the seven-day period ending August the 19th, we were averaging 1,002 deaths per day. Here you can see this five or six or seven week increase in cases. Hopefully this week here is going to mark a new downtrend in cases. Okay. An increase in deaths last week was the highest most number of deaths for a single week in at least a month. Hopefully this is going to be the beginning of a new downward trend. A monthly case, you can see that the cases for August will be the, well, uh, <clears throat> the fourth highest month in the last in the last since October of last year. Okay, it's higher than these three months right here. If there's any, if there's any silver lining, it's that this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh month in a row where cases have finished below these three highs right there. You know, as, you, as, a, as the saying goes, any port in the storm. August deaths are going to be higher than the previous three deaths, the previous three months but it's still lower than these three numbers right here. It's still going to be lower than these numbers right here. It may be lower than all these numbers right here. Okay? Pretty good shot to be lower than these numbers. So, so that's, in my, my book is still positive. So the question is, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., how many currently have uh, COVID-19? Well, the answer is about, let's just, let's just say 50. Okay? What about this? Well, this is one half person. Okay? So... So let's just, let's just say uh, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., one half of a person is dying from COVID-19. Okay, America? So that does conclude your report for today. Hey, don't forget to, uh, of course, click on that share button, the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, by all means, click on that subscribe button. <clears throat> Secondly, click on the like button. And thirdly, click on that share button. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter today. Thanks so much for your time, America. We'll catch you Sunday with an updated report.